Hi everyone, welcome back to Off The Cuff Clarinet, a web series discussing all things related to the clarinet and clarinet playing. So, a few weeks ago I received a request about articulation speed and to cover this topic. And this is sort of a very complex interweave of elements, so I'm kind of breaking those down into a few different videos. If you haven't watched my previous video about legato articulation, I suggest watching that and then coming back to here because that video lays out a lot of these sort of fundamental concepts of articulation, including needing constant air expulsion to produce a good legato and the tip-to-tip -tip articulation method. And that brings us to our next topic, which is the subject of this video, the sort of synchronization of the fingers and the tongue. When we play something, we often think if we hear a sort of messiness in the articulation, you know, something like, something like in Mendelssohn's uh, Scherzo from A Midsummer Night's Dream, for instance, that if it's not coordinated, we get, we always assume that it's our tongue that's the problem. But really, I would say more often than not, maybe 80 or 90% of the time, it's really the fingers that aren't that are the problem. It's the fingers that aren't coordinated with the tongue. Those are what's uneven. So to practice things like this, we need to isolate the finger motion and the articulation motion and do those separately. So we'll use that part from Mendelssohn Scherzo. Here's our metronome. And what we'll do first is we'll do this all slurred. Started a little early there. Didn't like that, there was a bump. And we want that to be as perfect as possible. Even in those, I'm still feeling a little a little insecurity going from F sharp to G sharp. So maybe we'll just really hone in on that spot. Start in the second measure of that run. And we'll try the whole thing. When I'm doing these repetitions, it's really important that we keep our phrasing idea and keep that shape and really always ingrain the musical element into our practicing. So we focused on the finger motion. I've got that even. Now let's try just articulation. So just sixteenths. And we'll just do it on that E that this run begins on. So I've demonstrated that we I can articulate sixteenths at that tempo, you know, to the to the dotted eighth note, and that no wait. No, it's a dotted quarter note, sorry. Summer brain. Um <laughs> dotted quarter note, the sixteenths of that, and I can play the run slurred. So now it's just about putting those two things together. So what I like to do for this, instead of just kind of smashing it all back together at once, add move one note at a time. So we did all E's. And now we'll move up to the F sharp. And what this tells me, if there's any issues, is that the issue is going from E to F sharp, the motion of the thumb. I don't hear any problems with that, so we'll move up another note. We'll add the G. blip in the tongue. And then to the A. Now add the V. And 
so on and so forth, all, until we get all the way up to the C at the very top. Oop, bad air support. So that's a really great technique to practice the finger-tongue coordination. I hope you found this discussion of finger-tongue coordination and synchronization on the clarinet helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment or reach out on social media. And thanks for watching.